even in the darkest of winter, even in the darkest of times, all the more <laughs> we need to dream. All the more we need God to give us those dreams because it is those dreams that will sustain us in the pits and in the prisons because those dreams contain a promise for your life. And in that promise, there is a power that comes from God that will strengthen you. And in the dark moment, when you feel that time has run out, that everything has come to an end, that's when you need to press in and not give up on your purpose, not give up on his vision, not give up on the God dreams that he has for your life. We're living in crazy times, but I just want to tell you all, I am grateful for your friendship, grateful for you standing with us and with Israel. You know, we're not far off from the the significant biblical holiday of Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights, the Feast of Dedication. Yeshua Jesus celebrates it, John chapter 10. In the current month, the month of Kislev in Hebrew. Can you say Kislev? This is the month in which the majority of Hanukkah actually begins. And Kislev is actually associated in Jewish thought with dreams. It's actually the month of dreams. It is a time to dream. And the reason being is that the majority of the dreams, the, the God dreams, the divine dreams that were filled with purpose and meaning for his people that we find in the Torah, the five books of Moses are read during this Hebrew month of Kislev. As many of you know, every week there are Torah portions. We read through the five books of Moses in a year. And so during the month of Kislev, the month of Hanukkah, we read nine of the 10 dreams. Okay? And we read one in this week's Torah portion, Genesis 28, beginning in verse 10. Yaakov Avinu, Jacob, our father, has a God dream where he sees a ladder descending from heaven. And he sees angels coming up and down to it. It's top reaching to heaven and angels were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord is ultimately at top of it. This is what comes to be known as the, the dream where he experiences the Sulam Yaakov, the ladder of Jacob at a place called Beit El Bethel. Man, this summer when we went to Israel, we actually went to the actual spot where it's believed that Jacob had that God dream. It was incredible to be there. Here's my encouragement to you. This is a time to dream. And by dreams, I don't just mean literal dreams that we have when we're sleeping. By dreams, first and foremost, I mean dreams that contain God's vision and purpose for your life. And God has a divine dream. God has a God dream for each and every one of our lives. And like Jacob, okay, like Jacob's ladder, it originates in heaven and descends to earth. Its origins is above, and it comes down from our Father in heaven down to earth. And in Jacob's dream, he saw the Lord standing at the top of the ladder. In Jacob's dream, it was the Lord who was on top of the ladder. And that's so important spiritually to understand because God dreams are never about us. When we strive for our dreams, you know, we're going to be left empty. But we strive for God dreams because they're never about us. They're always about the Lord, the one who is standing at the top of the ladder that Jacob saw in the dream. And we know by climbing the ladder, each rung we move up the ladder, each little bit we come closer in fulfilling the vision and purpose God has for our lives. 
the closer we get to the Lord and his sense of purpose for our life being fulfilled. But there's something else that's really beautiful, I believe, about God dreams. Because God dreams transition us from what is to what has the possibility to being. Okay, God dreams can absolutely 100% change your life. And it's so important because this year on the Hebrew calendar, as many of you heard me say, is the year 5784. It is the year of the four. It is the year of the open door. And the open doors are about transition. It's about moving from one season in our life to another. It's about moving from one chapter in our life to another chapter in our life. It's about moving from the old season into the new season. And for what is, from what is to what is possible. That's what this year is about. That's what this season is about, literally. And it literally is connected to dreams, open doors, doors and dreams are connected. Think about it for a moment. 5784 is the year of the open door because four in Hebrew is literally means door, the letter Dalit. But 84, the year that we're in on the Hebrew calendar is the numerical value of dream. The word dream in Hebrew is chalom. Can you say that with me? Chalom. Chalom means dream. So it's a time to dream, and it's a time to see dreams that God has had for your life that have been on hold begin to come to pass. It's a time to see dead dreams come to life. And the people who God opens doors for are dreamers. God wants to open doors for dreamers. Those of you who know how to dream with God, who can dream God dreams, and who know at least some of God's dream for your life. God dreams are the key to opening the door to promise and purpose. And I just want to encourage you, Because I think so many times in the midst of hurt and pain and loss, we lose the ability to dream. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But part of the sickness of heart is losing the ability to dream. And in fact, one of the words for health in Hebrew comes is connected to the word for dream. Because healthy and whole people dream. And that's so important to understand. If you are healthy, spiritually and emotionally, you are going to dream with God. You are going to have a sense of vision. You are going to have a sense of purpose. And if you don't, that means there is something that is not right. And you need to ask God to make that healed you and make it whole. Because to the day we go home to be with God, We should be having dreams of things he wants to do with us and through us. And when I think about doors and I think about dreams, the person I really think about the most is Joseph. As we read about in Genesis 37, Joseph had a God dream. He shared those dreams with his brothers. They were jealous of him. They threw him into the pits and into the prisons. He was falsely accused in Potter's first house, but in the prison, he interpreted the dreams of the cupbearer and the bread baker. And eventually, by interpreting those dreams of the cupbearer, it led Pharaoh to learn about him. And literally, the ability to dream and interpret dreams opened the door that led Joseph from the prison to the palace. And I think what was true for Joseph is true for each and every one of us. Joseph's life was changed by a dream that was given to him by the Lord. And dreams will change our lives in radical ways. And so one of the things I want to do is I want to encourage you, each and every one of you, I want to encourage you to dream. The only time you stop dreaming (laughs) is when you die. So if you're alive, 
You got to dream because only dead men don't dream. And I believe God is calling forth in this time a Joseph generation, a generation that knows how to dream with God, a generation that knows and understands the dream that is God is putting in the hearts of the pharaohs, the leaders of this world, and can interpret those dreams and those dreams that will transform families, cities, and nations. And in this season, we need to learn, we need to be asking God, what is your dream? Or clarify the dream or show me or open the doors for me to bring this dream to pass. And what's also interesting is that not only is the month of Hanukkah, the time that we're in right now, not only is it associated with dreams, but the Hebrew month of Kislev is also associated with sleep as well which makes total sense. There's a lot of logic in this because you dream when you sleep, right? So every prophet in the Bible, except through for Moses, God put him to sleep or put him into a trance. I'm saying it in the Hebrew Bible in the Old Testament, okay? Because dreams occur in the sleep. And what's also interesting is that Kislev, the Hebrew month of the year, usually like part, end of November and or December or December and a little bit into January, the Hebrew and uh, Gregorian calendar that we use in the West don't line up completely. It is the darkest month of the year, the darkest season of the year, which is important to understand. When do you dream? You dream in the dark. And I think that's important because we're living in times that seem dark. It seems like dark times. But even in the darkest of winter, even in the darkest of times, all the more <laughs> we need to dream. All the more we need God to give us those dreams because it is those dreams that will sustain us in the pits and in the prisons because those dreams contain a promise for your life. And in that promise, there is a power that comes from God that will strengthen you. And in the dark moment, when you feel that time has run out, that everything has come to an end, that's when you need to press in and not give up on your purpose, not give up on his vision, not give up on the God dreams that he has for your life. So this month of Kislev and the story of Hanukkah, which we'll get more into in the weeks ahead, okay? It's about daring to go after your dreams. I want to dare you to go after your dreams. Don't give up, but I dare you to go after your dreams.